Okay, so here it is finally. <laughs> um, we are going to start seated and you may wanna sit up on a yoga block or something, or you probably don't have a yoga block, but just a pillow or even a chair. Um, we're just gonna do a, just a few minutes of connecting to the breath. So this first one, I want you, I'm just, I don't know exactly what you want. Um, I know you want a workout and a calming thing and a slow something. So um, if this is not exactly what you want, just, just let me know and I'll keep making them. Now that I'm on track and I'm in one location again, I can do this like once a week if, if that's what you want. So go ahead and close your eyes for a sec and just find your breath. Draw the crown of your head up. Take your hands, the palms, and just push them into the fronts of the knees to help you lift the chest a bit more. Draw the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale so that your spine is growing upward. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down your back and hug your spine with your spinal muscles. I know that you know ujjayi breath, so begin your ujjayi breathing now, inhaling through the nostrils, but really drawing the breath in with the muscles of your throat. Make sure that that doesn't move your shoulders up around the ears, right? Shoulders stay down. We're breathing down into the lower abdomen, lower back. And exhaling from the core again. So hugging navel back to spine, hugging the sides of your torso back to midline, hugging the spinal muscles around the back of your spine. <laughs> Two more breaths, inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Inhale and count how long an inhale you're taking. That should have been at least four or five, six or seven seconds, maybe even eight. Exhale for the same duration, if not longer. Once you're empty, hold empty, drawing your navel back towards your spine. Holding with Uddiyana Bandha. If you're not sure what that is, again, you're just gonna keep the action of your exhale, right? So you're just gonna keep hugging in, knitting in, plugging in, and then go ahead and release. Take a deep in breath. Roll forward now and open your eyes, come onto the hands and the knees. Your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, round your back. Bring your chin into the soft part of the throat. Inhale, extend. Chin comes forward, pelvis back. Exhale, round the back, draw the navel in and up. Once again, inhale. And exhale. <coughs> Excuse me. This time, inhale and extend. Stand up onto your toes. Exhale, press down back to a downward facing dog. Root down to the palms. Root down to the heels and pull the weight of your body up and back. So you're not sinking. You're not letting your body sink into your shoulders, right? Even if you need to bend your knees, keep the pelvis drawing back and up so that you're moving it away from the ribs. Strong inhale into the backs of your ribs and into the backs of your lungs. A strong exhale to pull the ribs in closer to the thighs. Two more breaths. Inhale into the sides of your torso. Moving your left and right ribs away from each other. Exhale, knit left and right ribs back toward each other and back toward the spine. One final inhale, puff up the back, especially your upper back with breath. Strong exhale to truly empty out and hollow out through the lower abdomen. Make sure your chest is also contracting. Jump your feet forward or walk your feet forward and let's go into a standing forward fold here. Draw the crown down towards your toes. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. 
Lay your ribs on your thighs. Shake out any tension in your head, neck, and shoulders. And reach up with your hands. Just take a hold of the base of your skull and gently, right? We're not forcing this, but just gently give your neck some traction. Pull the skull away from the top of your spine. Your feet are at least as wide as your hips here so that we're not in any way compressing the body or not in any way inhibiting your ability to breathe. Take another strong exhale and maybe the legs can go a little straighter. Root down through your legs, extend your spine and rise halfway into an extended position. You may need to bend your knees to truly extend your spine here as well. So if your back is rounded when your legs are straight, extend, bend the knees, keep extending because we already rounded here, right? And we're gonna round again. Now root down through your feet, rise all the way up to a standing position and sweep the arms over your head. Press your palms together here. Good, and then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Shoulders down away from the ears, rooting down through your feet. Inhale, let the arms rise, open through your chest. Exhale, reach over to your right. So you're going to mirror me. Right arm comes down, left arm over. Inhale, rotate your left armpit toward the ceiling. Exhale, dive deeper by reaching your right fingertips closer to your right ankle. Inhale, rise up, press both palms. Exhale, left arm comes down, mirroring knee. Right arm reaches over right ear toward the left wall. But inhale, rotate your right armpit toward the ceiling. Exhale, dive a little deeper by reaching more dynamically to lengthen out the right side even more. Inhale, come up, press the palms, and take a little tiny back bend, just reaching back, shining both armpits toward the ceiling. That's your inhale. Strong exhale to hug the spine there. Inhale, back up to a neutral position. As you exhale, we're going to bring the hands down to the thighs, round your back again, draw navel in and up and bring your chin to the soft part of the throat. Inhale, undulate the spine, pelvis back, ribs forward. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, tuck your sit bones down, bring your chin to tuck into the throat. One more inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Roll all the way up, inhale, sweep the arms overhead. This time, clasp your hands together, interlace your fingers, exhale over to your right. Diving to the right, feeling a little more engagement on the right side. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive to your left. Reaching further to the left without sinking to the left. Inhale, rise up with your arms reaching over your head and your, arm, your biceps in line with your ears. Reach back. Go a little further than you did the first time. Take an inhale and lift higher. Exhale, reach further back. Inhale, come all the way up to a neutral. And this time we're gonna exhale, bend the knees even more than we did before. Sweep your arms back, draw the crown down. Your fingertips are going to reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, move into Utkatasana. Exhale, dive your ribs onto your thighs and sweep the arms overhead. Inhale, Utkatasana, move slowly. This is really good for your shoulders as well. Exhale, arms reach back and then all the way up to the sky, your crown draws down and your head weighs heavy. Both hands to the thighs, roll your spine slowly all the way back up to standing. Good, inhale, arms are rising. And this time we're gonna bring the right arm down into the right, left arm reaches out into the left. Your arms are at a diagonal, take an inhale here. Exhale, root down through your right foot, lift your left leg and just balance here. Now you may at first need to bring your toes, keep your uh, left toes on the floor. You may need to just work on keeping the left foot lifted, maybe a foot off the floor. Eventually you're gonna be able to lean more to the right. 
Now as you lift your left leg up and to the left. Go ahead and bring your left foot back down. Sweep the arms overhead, inhale. And exhale, right arm up into the right, left arm down into the left, diagonal line across the chest. Point your left, right toes out. Stay here and just transfer your weight onto your left foot, lifting your right toes very slowly off the floor. And then start to allow them to come up more and more. And again, the more you do this, like up to your third or fourth time, this will feel like it's fairly easy, actually. <laughs> Hug in with your left inner thigh. Engage your right outer thigh. One more inhale, use more arm strength. Pull your arms open more. Exhale the right foot down. Sweep the arms overhead. Take an inhale here. Now this time, take the heels of your hands to the top of the back of your glutes. Pull the elbows in and lift the chest. Soften your knees, inhale. Exhale, move the pelvis forward. Pull the elbows back. Move into the deepest back bend possible. And so I'm doing this for you because, again, most of us are working at a desk too long, not me, but most people. <laughs> and so this is just opening you back up, right after all the things that you do that are forward moving. Find your back muscles again, find your triceps, pull your elbows in toward each other with a little more tricep strength. One final exhale to draw the crown further back as well. Inhale, slowly rise up. Sweep those arms overhead. And exhale, bring your hands down to your thighs. Bend the knees, round the back. Keep your back rounded this time. And hollow out the belly. Holding empty with Uddiyana Bandha. Let your head hang down. Release your Uddiyana Bandha and take an inhale into your back but keep your back rounded. Exhale through your mouth. Shh. Hollow out your belly. Hold empty and do that churning you did at the retreat with us. I don't know if you remember that, but it's drawing the belly button in and up, releasing, in and up, releasing, in and up, releasing. This is really good for your digestion. Make sure you're doing this on an empty stomach. In and up, release, in and up, release, in and up, release. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale and go ahead and extend the spine now. Exhale through the mouth to round your back. Shh. Hollow out, empty out, draw on able in and up. This is Uddiyana Bandha. Staying empty, now start Agnisara. Churning in and up, releasing the belly down. Churning in and up, releasing the belly down. Churning in and up, releasing. Doing that as many times as you can. And one more time, take your inhale. Extend your spine. One more exhale through the mouth. Shh. Pause here, hold empty, and do that churning. Working your abdominal muscles here quite a bit. And inhale, extend. Exhale, fold forward now. Moving into a standing forward fold, just like we did a moment ago. Make sure your feet are again at least sit bone distance apart, if not a little wider. Make sure your hips are over your heels rather than being back behind them, because otherwise you're just gonna strain your knees there. Fold the crown down, shake any tension out of your neck, head and shoulders here. Make sure the quads are activated, your shins are working here. I'm going to take another exhale to fold in just a little bit more. Shake out your neck. Okay, hold there. Just stay right there. Sorry. Okay. And from there, extend your spine. If you need to, bend your knees. Again, remember as you do this more and more, you're going to be able to keep the legs straighter and straighter, but don't compromise your back here because again, we've already rounded the back. You want to extend and move in that opposite direction now. And place your palms down to the floor. Walk your feet back or jump your feet back into a high push-up position. Take an inhale in this position. Exhale, lie all the way down onto your belly. Inhale, move your ribs off the floor. Exhale, lower the ribs back down to the ground. 
Inhale, lift the ribs off the floor. Exhale, your ribs slowly back down to the ground, but keep the fronts of your shoulders lifting, elbows drawing back. One more time, inhale, rise. Elbows continue to bend. Draw the shoulders down away from your ears. Exhale, release. From there, push up to the hands and the knees, inhaling. Extending the spine. And exhale, round your back. Inhale, bring your left arm up, open to the left. Exhale, reach your left arm underneath you to the right. As far to the right as you can. Inhale, open back up to the left, tuck your right ribs under your left. Exhale, reach your left arm toward the right side of the room. One more time, open to your left, inhaling. This time, reach underneath you and then place the left, the left side of your head onto the floor. Reach your left arm as far to the right as you can. Keep the pelvis drawing back and then take your right hand and just claw the floor with your fingertips and push, it's like you're pushing the fingertips down into the ground and then pushing your torso back a little more so your chest opens. From there, reach your right arm up over your right shoulder and try to bring your right arm over your right ear so that either the thumb is touching the ground or the pads of all of your fingers and the pad of your thumb is touching the ground. Um, in this position, we're once again stretching out the right side of the torso, so breathe into the right side. Again, we're combating all of the forward and down motion that our lives give us. Even your biking that you do is forward and down, right? Your, your chest kind of caves in and the uh, sides of your body cave down. So this is just to lengthen outside body. And of course, all the back bends we're doing and the heart openers we're doing helps us keep our, our uh, muscles that support nice um, posture, right? The, we want those muscles to be strong. Now go ahead and release out of this pose. Inhale back up onto the hands and the knees. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, let's bring the right arm up and open to the right. Exhale, bring your right arm underneath you and to your left. Inhale, open right arm to the right. Exhale, reach to your left. Going further each time you do this, you want to feel like your obliques are getting a nice workout. Opening to the right, turn, is tuck left ribs under right even more. Exhale, reach to your left. Your pelvis is up high. Claw the floor with your fingertips here to again, it's like we're trying to get the right ribs to tuck under the left, but we're also trying to get the left ribs to stack over the right. So the more you push the floor away with the pads of your fingers, the more you'll feel that. And then take your left arm up over your left shoulder. Reach the left arm over your left ear. See if maybe you can claw the floor with your fingertips or just touch the tip of the thumb to the floor. Breathe deeply to the left side of your body. Pull the entire pelvis back and up. Let your exhale ring out your spine. Make sure that this isn't compromising your neck. We don't want the weight of the pelvis sinking down into the cervical vertebrae. We want the pelvis to pull back and up. Take another strong exhale, ring out and open up your chest even more toward the sky. Slide your left hand back alongside your chest. Come back up onto the hands and the knees. Inhale, spinal extension here. Exhale to round. Again, inhale, extend. And this time pushing down to the palms, stand up onto the pads of your toes. Exhale, high plank pose. Deep in breath and high push up. Exhale, chaturanga. Fly all the way down onto your belly again. Inhale into Bhujangasana, lifting the ribs, chest, shoulders, and head. Exhale, lower the ribs slowly. Let your legs rise as your ribs descend. Inhale, ribs rise, legs lower. 
Exhale, ribs lower, legs rise. Inhale, legs lower, ribs rise. Exhale, ribs lower, legs rise. One more time, inhale. And exhale, release everything down. So keep your legs on the floor this time. Push up on an inhale to hands and knees, extend the spine. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, bring your left arm and right leg off the floor, standing up onto the pads of your left toes. Exhale, pull yourself apart in two directions, keeping your left arm in line with your left shoulder and your right leg in line with your right hip or just slightly higher of those uh, joints. Release left hand and right knee down. Inhale, right arm and left leg come up. Exhale to pull apart, reach in two directions. Keep the left elbow slightly bent so we don't hyperextend. Inhale, keep reaching in two directions. Maybe lift the limbs a little higher. Exhale, right hand and left knee down. Inhale, bring your right arm, uh, left arm and right leg up. This time bend your right knee, reach around and simply touch your fingers to your toes. Left hand to right foot. Release, bring the arm forward and back, lift both limbs. Exhale, left hand and right knee down. Inhale, right arm and left leg rise. Exhale, bend the left knee, reach around, simply touch the fingers and the toes together. Hold here, take an inhale. Exhale, release arm forward, leg back. Lift both limbs on inhale and exhale. Release, good. Inhale, left arm and right leg come up. Exhale, left arm. Left arm to the left, oh my goodness. <laughs> right leg to the right for a zigzag pose. Inhale, bring it back to center, lift both limbs. Exhale, left hand and right knee down. And last time, inhale, right arm and left leg up. Exhale, right arm to the right, left leg to the left, to zigzag. Inhale, lift both limbs. Exhale, right hand and left knee down. Deep in breath to extend the spine. Exhale to round your back. Inhale, extend. Stand up onto the pads of your toes. Exhale to chaturanga, I'm sorry, to um, plank pose. Take an in-breath here. Exhale, all the way down into chaturanga. And then onto your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Ardha Salabhasana, legs up and forehead down. This time, inhale, bring your chest up, but keep your legs up and reach your arms back. Exhale, pull the fingers back, pull the toes back, hug your spine. Inhale, breathe the ribs further off the floor. Exhale, breathe your legs further off the floor. Everything stays lifted. Activate all of the muscles in your back, including your hamstrings, your glutes, your triceps. One final inhale. Exhale, everything back down to the ground. Hands alongside mid ribs. Push up on an inhale to hands and knees. Extending your spine. And exhale, round your back. Good, this time extend the spine. Walk your arms forward. And um, again, another heart opener. We're gonna drape the torso down toward the floor. Armpits are moving down into the earth. Your pelvis is up though. The pelvis isn't moving towards your heels. Your sit bones are pulling up and back. The ribs are draping down and forward. Your heart is melting into the mat. And you're feeling even a stretch on your armpits here. Please go ahead and bring your forehead to the floor. I'm not doing that because you won't be able to hear me. But your forehead is on the floor. Use your upper back to move your chest closer to the ground. Two more breaths. Remember that you are finishing your exhale and notice that this is a back bend. So you want that exhale to come from the back muscles. The front of your body is stretching. 
Take your final inhale into your abdominal muscles, into the front of your torso. And now as you exhale, move the hips back or child's pose, walking your knees out wide to drop your ribs between your thighs. Breathe into your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. Strong exhale to move the sit bones closer to the heels, engage your abdominals. Please just take one final breath here. And one more strong exhalation. Good, let's come up onto the hands and the knees. Cross your shins now. We're gonna sit back behind the heels and bring the legs forward. Slide your hips into the middle of your yoga mat. <laughs> and, um, sorry, I hope that um, Luke's, Luke's uh, neighbor literally mows his lawn every single day. Whenever I'm teaching yoga, that's when he decides to do it. So. <sighs> Hopefully you can hear me and you don't hear only the, the, the lawnmower. Let's take the hands back behind the thighs. Inhale to open up the chest. As you exhale, take your elbows out to either side of the room, really flare them out. Ground your upper back and engage your uh, chest. Chin comes in. Now pull the elbows back Lift the heart as though you're moving your sternum toward the sky, chin is up. We're trying to mobilize our upper back, upper spine. Flare the elbows out, open your upper back. So this is different from leaning into your lower back, right? Your lower back is extended, your upper back rounds. Okay? And then elbows draw back and the heart rises up. I want you to uncover a little more range of motion there. So more muscularity, don't, don't try to do this passively, be as active as you can. Your back muscles are firing here and your pecs are firing here. Elbows out, chin down, mobilize your upper thoracic spine and encourage greater elasticity through the upper thoracic ribs, right? Which helps us breathe more deeply. But now once you take your last inhale, we're gonna keep the elbows drawing back, lean back, your elbows are gonna just stay slightly bent, lean back. We're not leaning into our lower back, the spine is still neutral. Pick up your feet and bring your shins parallel with the floor. Hold on to your thighs if you need to. You can eventually reach your arms past your legs or even up toward the sky. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, maybe the knees move just a little further forward. Keep the abs really strong. You can take a look at the abdominals here and make sure that they are indeed drawing down. here for five more breaths. Stronger exhales, make sure you finish it off. Good, last inhale. Exhale, place the soles of your feet down to the ground. Hold on to the backs of your thighs. Inhale, extend the spine again. This time as you exhale, flare those elbows, round your upper back, then start to roll the rest of your spine all the way down to the floor. When you get there, inhale, extend your legs straight, reach your arms back behind you with the arms straight as well. Pull the fingers in one direction and your toes in the opposite direction, pulling yourself apart from your center. Inhale. <laughs> and extend. And exhale, hug your spine. One more time, inhale, maybe the palms turn up, press the backs of your hands down into the ground. If that's not happening for you today, then we know it's something you need to work on because we do wanna be able to do this. And when, when our back isn't overly rounded, right? When we haven't overstretched our back and underworked our back, um, we'll be able to do this, but we may not be able to today because again, most of the work we do is forward and down. Go ahead and sweep your arms out to either side now until your arms are just right below the shoulders, but they're spread out as far away from your body as possible. Bend your knees and place the soles of your feet to the floor. 
Take an inhale and extend the sacrum or reach your sacrum, the back of the pelvis into the ground. As you exhale, <laughs> excuse me, scoop the pelvis off of the floor. So you can see how COVID hasn't really left me completely yet. I'm just coughing all the time still. Um, the backs of your shoulders are on the ground. That was a little sidebar. On your next inhale, let's lift the entire spine off the floor for a bridge pose. Again, we're going to sweep the arms over the head, press the backs of the hands if possible into the floor. Make sure that your chin is up off of your throat so you're not flattening out your neck here. Glutes are strong, hamstrings are really strong. This is another heart opener, another back bend to support moving in the opposite direction from how you normally move. Sweep the arms out to either side of the room. Begin to roll the spine back down slowly. All right, with awareness. Once your hips touch the floor, take an inhale. But exhale, bring your right knee in towards your right armpit. Your left foot is going to stay flat to the mat. Take your right hand to your right shin and draw the right knee in a bit closer. But with your left arm reaching to the left, turn your chin toward the left shoulder. Make sure you're not bringing your left shoulder up to your chin. Instead, draw the chin down to the shoulder. Left ear toward the ground. Inhale into the right side of your back. Exhale, root down through your left foot. Engage your glutes and your hamstrings on that left leg. Now extend the right leg out to the right. Pull the left knee to the left. You're gonna roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Right, if I'm sure your leg isn't quite where mine is yet, but you wanna um, use your right arm to support the weight of your right leg, but also use your right outer thigh. Right, so that you're not just letting your heavy leg rest in your wrist. Eventually the leg will come down to where the Elbow can be on the floor and you're just kind of letting your, your outer shin rest in your right hand. Still engaging your right outer thigh. Root the sole of your right foot into the right wall. Pull the left knee toward the left wall. One more inhale, keep your left shoulder blade on the floor. And exhale, start to coax with your right arm, your right leg back up over your right hip. Extend your right leg straight, flex your right foot. And with your right hand, just very gently coax your right leg in as close to your chest as you can. Push down to the left foot at the same time. Good. Your quads are strong here. Pull the kneecap toward your hip bone. One more exhale to engage your abs even more deliberately here as well. Good. and then release your right leg, cross your right knee over your left and drop both knees over to the left side of the room into a twist. As the knees move to the left, your arms reach out again to either side, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Squeeze your inner thighs together, draw the uh, sit bones, both of them towards your knees. Please inhale into your lower back, especially the right side of it. Now, as you exhale, I want you to imagine that you are your own chiropractor and you're using your inner strength, not to force anything on your spine, but to allow your spine to release tension. So a strong, long, emptying out exhale. When you're empty, you keep the action of your exhale going and see if you can wring out your spine a little bit more. Good, uncross your legs, roll onto your back. Extend your right leg all the way back up to the ceiling on your inhale. And with your right leg straight, extend your right leg all the way down to the floor as slowly as you can so that you have another opportunity to work your abs, but this time in an eccentric way, right? So that you're working your abdominals and supporting length at the same time. Once your right heel touches the floor, take an inhale. Exhale, place your right foot to the floor. Good. Take an, on your next exhale, draw left knee into left armpit. Reach your right arm out to the right, slightly below the right shoulder. <clears throat> Wrap your left forearm around your left shin. 
Please focus on your, you may even want to close your eyes here. Focus on your back, focus on your back ribs. Expand your back ribs into the floor. Strong exhale to draw the left knee in toward left armpit. Increasing the stretch on your lower back. One more breath, feel where your stretch is happening. Breathe to that stretch. Remember you're still rooting down with the sole of your right foot. Exhale, engage your core as strongly as you can. Engage the left side body as strongly as it will engage. Draw the left knee closer to left armpit. Now extend the left leg out to the left. Take your left hand up to meet your left outer shin or even your left outer thigh, depending on where the leg is. Roll your right knee to the right so you're on the outer edge of your right foot. Your right glutes stay on the floor here. With your left leg reaching to the left, turn your head to the right, right chin. I'm sorry, your chin is moving towards your right shoulder. This should feel really good all the way up the left side of your neck, um, as well as, of course, it may not feel really good in your left inner thigh, but this is really good for your left inner thigh and really your entire hip socket. Again, when we're sitting for long periods of time, the hip flexors are overworked and the rest of the hip is kind of slack. And so this is about just getting more range of motion and getting that feeling of maybe balancing our muscularity a little more in this part of ourselves. Chin toward your right shoulder. Root through the inner edge of your left foot so that the sole of your left foot gets closer to the left wall. Make sure that both of your outer thighs are working. Definitely your left outer thigh needs to stay engaged. Bring your gaze back to neutral. Bring your right foot back down to the floor. Extend your left leg all the way to the sky, flexing your left foot. Take your left hand um, to the left calf muscle or even the back of the left thigh and bring the leg in gently, really gently. Push down through the sole of your right foot. All of this should just feel really good and all of this will very quickly, everything that I've chosen, you're going to notice very quickly that you can um, go further, faster. And especially if you are aware of your intrinsic strength and how the intrinsic strength supports moving efficiently and effectively through um, the, the full range of motion, right? So we're not just trying to stay in the place you get to the first day. Every time you do this, go further, try to extend more, legs straighter, maybe the leg gets closer to the ribs. But now back off of that a bit as you inhale, extend the left leg directly over left hip, cross left knee over right, and draw both knees over to the right side. Turn your head to the left. The left shoulder blade is going to move down toward the floor. Our intention is that every time we exhale, the left shoulder blade will move closer to the ground. The back of the left shoulder will be on the ground as well. And then you can start to work the left ribs down. Of course, your, your floating ribs are not gonna to touch, but they're gonna move in that direction. Your head is turning to the left. Your knees are pulling to the right. Squeeze the inner thighs together, pull the sit bones toward the knees. Feel the stretch on the outer glute there as well. After the work that we just asked it to do when we were stretching out the inner thigh. Again, we're moving in all these different directions with the leg, with the hip. So this one is to stretch the outer glutes and also a little bit through the IT band because these are muscles that tend to almost atrophy when we um, sit all day. Go ahead and uncross your legs and bring your legs back up to center. Extend the left leg up over your left hip. Inhale here, exhale slowly. With your abdominal muscles strong and long at the same time, extend your left leg straight and all the way down to the floor. When your left heel touches, take a deep breath in and exhale, place the left foot down next to the right foot. Huge inhale here. This time, exhale, bring both knees in toward the armpits. Right knee toward right armpit, left knee to left armpit. Lift the pelvis off the floor if possible. And just begin to rock all the way to one side, up and to center and all the way over to the other side. Use your abs more than you're using your arms to do this. And just look for range of motion to increase each time 
And actually that feeling of fluidity rather than choppiness that you might feel when you do this the first time, eventually you're gonna feel more fluid, right? One more time over to the right. Good, bring it back up to where we started. Clasp your hands around the shins, bring your forehead up to meet your knees, knees in to meet your forehead. And your, your knees are coming in maybe to the fronts of the shoulders. Draw the shoulders down away from your ears even more. Draw the elbows down toward the ground. Good, and then slowly release your head, neck and shoulders to the floor. Extend your legs out beneath you. Lift uh, your hips, one hip at a time. Lift your shoulders, one shoulder at a time. And then just shake everything into the ground just as though you're sifting your whole body into the earth. Um, bring your chin up away from the soft part of your throat. So this is the, the posture that I want you to work on um, daily, right? Even if you don't do the practice. So every, every night, like um, before you actually fall asleep, just make sure that the backs of your shoulders are on the ground or on your mattress, whatever. And then the, the shoulder blades are on the ground. Then get the backs of your ribs, all of them to touch the ground. So your entire thoracic spine is on the ground. Your chin is up so that your neck is not on the ground. And the lumbar spine is not on the ground. Small of your back is arching naturally. Your sacrum is on the ground. So you may need to lift the back of the pelvis up, press the sacrum down without lifting your shoulders up. The shoulders are gonna come up, wanna come up, press them down again, shoulder blades down, ribs down. Sacrum down, lumbar spine up, neck up. And then track your sit bones towards your heels without pressing the small of your back into the ground. Now this looks like nothing, but it actually feels like quite a bit. We're training this, the, the very smallest of the muscle fibers, the insertions and attachments. We're training them to be stronger, to stabilize the, the uh, the shoulders in particular here more, but really the entire spine. So for me anyway, it feels like a lot to keep the backs of the shoulders, shoulder blades and ribs on the floor while keeping the lumbar spine and the neck off the floor while keeping the sacrum on the ground and the sit bones tracking toward the heels. The backs of your arms can push down a little more. The backs of your legs can rip rest even more into the ground. Find all of that muscularity and stay open. And on your next exhale, relate, relax, but don't cave in. Don't bring the shoulders up around the ears again. Keep them open. Don't cave the shoulder heads in toward the sternum. Keep them broadening. Keep the shoulder, backs of shoulders on the floor, shoulder blades on the floor, ribs on the floor without muscularly maintaining that. And notice how you're feeling now. But for just a few more moments, rest here. Notice how you're feeling. My intention with that practice is to counteract all of the effects of the rest of your day so that when you're done with this practice, it's short and sweet. It doesn't take a lot of time to do. It's no wasted effort, no wasted movements. So by the end of the practice, you feel freer in your body. You feel like you have a greater range of motion and you feel more open. Um, let me know how that goes. I'm gonna invite you to stay here and rest for just another minute. Um, thanks for um, being patient with me on that. And like I said, now that I am settled in one location, I'll be able to do more for you. So give me more specifics on what you'd like. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks again.